Our lesson for today will be looking at chemistry 1502. The topic for today is alkyne reaction. We will be looking at hydrogen halides. Lesson 104, let us start. With this reaction, we are going to take an alkyne and then we are going to add it with hydrogen halide. Now we know very well that hydrogen halide, we can see it's HX, whereby this H represents hydrogen and then X can be any halogen but the most common ones is iodine chlorine and bromine so when you take a terminal alkyne we react it with And halide we are going to get a cis actually let us not talk about cis and trans but what we are going to have it's E and Z this hydrogen let me actually use a different color so that you can see the hydrogen will come here actually it should follow Markovnikov's rule so here we are going to have X then here we are going to have our hydrogen remember that Markovnikov rule we look at the carbon which is most substituted so this carbon it is bonded to this carbon and the R group so it is more substituted compared to this one so the halogen will take the carbon which is more substituted the hydrogen will go to the carbon which is less substituted so suppose we take the very same product we react it with an alkyl halide again I mean hydrogen halide we are going to have no longer have a double bond but a single bond the hydrogen will go to the carbon with hydrogen then this will go to the one with an halide so sometimes you might see two equivalents of H B R just know that it's going to be from here directly to here let us look at the examples let's say we have this one equivalence so let us just put HCl so in this case we can see that the carbons which are involved in the double double bond are these ones I mean triple bond so we can just start by writing them with a double bond For this one we have E and Z isomers. So let us look at this. Between this one and this one, which is more substituted? Which one it has a position of Markovnikov? Looking at this one, we can see that it is a secondary carbon, and also this one is a secondary carbon. So in this case we have to substitute the halogen on both carbons and hydrogen on both carbons I mean we have to add so we can start by adding this one here 
plus so we have two products the moment you cannot identify the Makovnikov position or carbon just know that you have to do this Look at this one. As you can see that this is an internal alkyne with, it is symmetric. So this side, is it is the same as this side. So in this case, let's say we have equivalence. One equivalence. So this carbon and this one are the ones involved in the triple bond so we are going to have a double bond I know that you might think we are going to have a mixture of two products but in this case we have this part we have this part then we are going to have PR and our H here. This will be the product. And you have to understand that this is the same as uh, this product. So you cannot have a mixture of same products. Make sure the Because if we are to look at the structures, you can see that they are the same. So we don't have to write two products. Check. The first carbon, this carbon, it has bromine and methyl. I'm referring to the first carbon which is involved in the bond. Look at this carbon, it has methyl and bromine. The second carbon, it has methyl and hydrogen. The second carbon has methyl and hydrogen. It is not the same as the previous lesson. Look at this carbon, which has chlorine. It has chlorine and methyl. You look at this one, it has chlorine and ethyl. So you can see the difference. When we have an internal alkyne which is not symmetric, this side is not the same as this one, we are going to have a mixture of two products. If we have an internal alkyne with ident identical sides or symmetrical, just know that we are going to have only one product. Let us look at this example and before we continue, Look at this one. It's a terminal alkyne. So you can see that it has Makov Nikov carbon, which is this one. And then that is where we are going to add our halogens. But we'll look at the example. So let us look at this one. Do we have Markovnikov carbon? No, we do not. We are going to have two products. We're going to add this with one equivalence of HPR. So the first product. We'll have a double bond here and our bromine here plus actually we have to put it on double bond and this one 
now let's see we have the very same example we have two equivalents of HPR we are going to have a mixture of two products but you should understand that this is not the terminal alkyl I mean a terminal alkyl so we are going to have BR BR here with no double bond plus so this is the product let us look at a terminal alkyl we have one equivalence of hydrochloric acid looking at this we can see this is a primary carbon this is a secondary carbon so we follow Markovnikov this is the same addition meaning that we're going to add them on the same side this is the Markovnikov carbon we will take chlorine suppose we have the very same example but we have equivalence of two we have two equivalents of HCl so we can see that this is the Markovnikov and then this is our other carbon which is involved so we are going to have single bonds with this group here which is this part then this side we have our hydrogen then we simply add Cl here Cl here then this one we have hydrogens remember two equivalents it simply means we have two two hydrogen two chlorine so we have two chlorine two hydrogens I hope you do understand this reaction. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.